I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, methotrexate-induced pulmonary toxicity. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have an 80-year-old male who presents with increasing shortness of breath and cough for two months. Past medical history is significant for rheumatoid arthritis treated with methotrexate. Taking a look at the chest x-ray, we note that there's lower zonal predominant diffuse reticular opacities with volume loss and pleural thickening. No consolidation or pleural effusion, these findings are suspicious for fibrosing interstitial lung disease. High resolution CT is recommended. Taking a look at the high resolution CT of the chest, we note this triple density appearance within the lung bases, or head chi sign. The head chi sign, or three density pattern, refers to a juxtaposition of regions with three or sometimes more different densities or regions of different attenuation within the lungs, ground glass, mosaic, and normal lung tissue. Ground glass, as shown here, is a descriptive term referring to an area of increased attenuation in the lung on CT with preserved bronchial and vascular markings. It's a nonspecific sign with a wide etiology including infection, chronic interstitial disease, and acute alveolar disease. Mosaic attenuation pattern, a mosaic shown here is a descriptive term used in describing a patchwork of regions of differing pulmonary attenuation on CT imaging. It's a nonspecific finding. Going back to our patient, we note that there's diffuse bilateral mosaic attenuation and there's lower zonal predominant gas trapping on expiratory images. Here on inspiration, we note this area of hypoattenuation containing air. And on expiration, we note that this same area remains hypoattenuated, referring that there is gas trapping. Additionally, there's subpleural, peribronchovascular, interlobular septal thickening. There's traction bronchial lactasis, and parenchymal distortion. No gradient or honeycombing, no pulmonary nodules or pleural effusion, and there is mediastinal and hyalur adenopathy. The case demonstrates a typical fibrotic hypersensitivity pneumonitis secondary to methotrexate-induced pulmonary drug toxicity. Infection and hypersensitivity pneumonitis secondary to other environmental triggers were excluded clinically and on antigen testing. Symptoms improved with steroids and cessation of methotrexate. Pulmonary drug toxicity from methotrexate is not uncommon. The exact etiology is uncertain, but hypothesized to result from pneumonitis secondary to direct alveolar drug toxicity, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, and superimposed atypical infection from immune suppression. The imaging features of methotrexate pulmonary drug toxicity are variable and can include ground glass opacities, organizing pneumonia, and pleural effusions, in addition to hypersensitivity pneumonitis.